welcome everyone to Team Angels Tuesday Night Team Training. So what I've got planned for you tonight is I want to show our hands here. Who's tickle pink and be loud and proud if you are? Who's tickle pink the last few months with their um, Juice Plus results? Michelle? Anyone else? Who's half pleased? Who's half pleased with them? I'm pleased, Jan, but not tickled. Jan and Hayley. Sorry, what was that? I said, I'm, I'm pleased, but I'm not tickled, pleased. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Sense. Okay. Can I tell you that the last two months, I have been pleased with my results for the first time for a long time. Let me tell you why. Because I listened to people who had wisdom. And I listened to the fact that I could not mother all of you guys anymore. I could only see who put their hand up and agree to work with them. Because none of you are my employees and I'm not your boss. But I can be such a support to you if and when you want to do this. So when I went from what the boys, Simon Mitchell and all that were saying, John Holowati, to instead of 80% team and 20% building new people, putting my hand up here and fessing up, I was probably 98% team, 2% looking for new people. Because I did anyone listen to the twins call last night? I was that comfortable NMD. It was awesome, wasn't it? I was that comfortable NMD and I was just quite comfortable with earning quite a bit of money. But then my why changed. and A lot of you know that. And um, Craig's actually in Perth at the moment. Some big things might be happening in his happening in this employment. So it might actually end up going from bringing Craig home to letting Craig retire totally if he does get home with this um, job opportunity. Okay, so I haven't been happy with the results of the last few months. What changed? So apart from we heard the amazing John Holowati, Simon Mitchell, lots of other things, 90-day game plan, I just got real. But mostly it is I looked at my DMO. So when all of you looked at the Facebook post, did all of you realise what DMO was? Daily method of operation, daily mode of operation, whatever you want. So what I've prepared tonight, hopefully tomorrow you're going to start your Juice Plus career again and do things differently. But I think it will take you a month, four separate weeks, to work out a DMO that works for you. But I can almost guarantee you that it's actually not going to work perfectly because it just doesn't. We're having a giggle on the call last night because I'm looking at all you guys on the screen, but apparently I'm supposed to look up there at the camera and I can't do it because I'm a people person. So if you're looking at my eyebrows, that's, that's okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, so you're not happy with your juice business results. Um, DMO, does anyone actually feel they really have a DMO? Okay, because I said the majority of the people on the call that either got another J-O-B, just over broke job, or they're young mummies and daddies and they're busy at home with children. Agree? So it's really hard. And I tell you what, a lot of you know that I've been very, very, the last five weeks now, I've been very, very involved with one of my daughters and son-in-laws with their children, particularly the baby. And something spontaneous, I had to drop everything and go today. So a DMO, I'm not going to say, sorry, I can't be there because my DMO won't allow it. And that's why anyone who's quite learned and has wisdom, like Simon Mitchell, he says, you've got to have gaps. So whenever you do a daily method of operation, and we're going to discuss this in my notes. It's not so much a schedule that Simon Mitchell talks about, it's prioritizing some things that at the end of the week, and I'm nominating two o'clock on a Friday afternoon, that you actually look and you think, did I cover off on the five high paying activities? Whether you're someone in the business who allows one hour a week for your business, one hour a day, or you're pretty much trying to smash it and be an NMD by Service Paradise. Okay? So, or a QNMD. Very exciting things happening in the team. Am I excited? Just a little bit. Okay. 
here's the facts. The DMO that is going to work for you, you're going to have to decide that. So I want to tell you some facts. First of all, life is different for all of us, family dynamics. I don't have babies and children at home. I don't have school pickups. I don't have any of that. I don't have a nine to five or a seven to four, whatever it is, job that I have to go to. So each and every one of us, even if you're a stay at home mummy now with Juice Plus, you'll still have different dynamics. You know, you may have children to pick up from kindy or you may just have babies at home with naps and things. So another fact, life can get in the way and spontaneous things happen. Like today, I just had to drop everything and go. Okay, another fact. Um, I've got another fact, I've just got to find it. So life will be so much easier if you actually concentrate on some priorities. And I don't want you to be tough on yourself, but what I've done for most of my 18 years is just kid myself. I certainly haven't been the sort of person just filing and doing documents and making sure I'm busy, busy, busy and all that. I wouldn't have been successful if I was doing that. But I believe that I could absolutely be 100 Club 10 years ago if I knew what I knew today what I've been trying to put into place the last next, uh, the last three months. So my plea to you tonight is please listen to me. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But if it's not working, just keep trying. So here we go. Life will be so much easier if you concentrate on the five high-paying activities. Rather than focusing on numbers, rather than focusing on a schedule, for example, tomorrow, I'm supposed to do my customer care. Most of you know that I've got a real, a lot of customers, so it's quite a big effort. It's actually not because I just really keep it up to date. The minute I let it go for a few days, if I don't get it all done on the Wednesday morning, that little panic sets in and other things go by the wayside, everything goes pear-shaped. So this week, I knew that tomorrow morning, I've got a Zoom call with Rachel McCutcheon and one of her people over east, then I've got something else, and I thought, oh, that's supposed to be my customer care morning, but I hadn't put it in my diary. I did a few weeks straight after the 90 day game plan, but I haven't gone ahead and entered it. In fact, I saw next Tuesday night, I didn't even have the 10 calling. So to me, being organized is almost like being a saint. Who, hands up, who's an organized person? Right, who's hopeless? No one's putting their hand up, I love it. That's why you're on the call. Okay, try and be organised because it will reduce your stress. But don't beat yourself up. I've got a few beautiful people really close to me at the moment and they're beating themselves up. No way. That's why you're doing Juice Plus, so you're your own boss. Okay. Okay, here's a test for you. If you, a couple of you who would like to have a go at this, would you like to unmute yourself? And just and tell me what are the five high paying activities? There's a test. Everyone races to unmute themselves. Anyone? I'll, t I'll go. Yeah, beautiful. I've got them in front of me so I can cheat. <laughs> yeah. Speak, speak, obviously, talk to people. Yeah. Uh, follow up. Yeah. Um, use the grid, attend yep. events, and customer care. That's beautiful. So just adding to that, talk to a new person or three or five, whatever your standard is, every single day. Talk to new people, that is. Okay. Use the grid because if you speak to Sally Smith today, she needs to go on your grid because life gets in the way and three or four days after you've sent her a link or some information, you're going to forget to follow her up. I've done that. I remember in the early days, three weeks later, I'd wake up in the middle of the night, oh, my God, I forgot to ring that person. And do you know what? The next day when I rang that person, they would nearly always say to me, oh, yeah, I've been meaning to ring you to get some of that stuff. The fortune is in the follow-up. So talk to new people every day. Use that grid. It works. I actually haven't used it for the last two weeks. And I've been scribbling on it today. I've got lots of bits of paper and notes, so I haven't even done it myself. I'm always honest. 
and following up. When you follow up and you get a yes, it undoes the 25 no's that you've had. It's like someone gave you a bottle of really good champagne or gave you a $100 crisp note. It's beautiful. The fortune's in the follow-up. You don't do any follow-up. You have only, they're all no's. They're all no's. So then the other thing is events. It's not so much building for events as also organise an event. If Miranda rang me and she's got a, con a prospect and she wants me to come and meet with her at a coffee shop, that is an event. Did anyone not realise that? That is an event. Andy up in Darwin and Emma, if they've got someone they want me to chat to about the business, we organise a Zoom call. That is an event. Beautiful new girl, Cherie, in Kalgoorlie. I just happened to say, we could do a launch into your home. She's got at least a dozen people there on Thursday night and I'm streaming in, zooming in on at 5.30 before we do the Own Your Own Life somewhere on Thursday night and doing that. That is an event. So you can organise your own events. How many times have I said to you, my door is always open, my kettle is always on, my phone's available, please ring me, ask for help. But quite often it's, why don't we catch up? It's very exciting. Look, I love it when people don't need me, but it's very exciting when someone says, I've had enough, I'm not happy with my results, please help. And I was, will help, but also the way, another way I've changed is that rather than just absolutely doing it for you, I'll direct you to where you can get that help as well as my personal help because that will make you a better leader. Okay, there's a couple of different ways of a DMO. First of all, and this is very personal to me, it's what I've done for many years, and guess what? It did work, I'm an NMD and I'm successful, but it nearly killed me in the process. So I'm trying to stop that happening to you. So this DMO is cram it all in, all those five high paying activities and so much more, cram it in every day and wonder why you're stuffed. Because it can't work like that. That's not why you're doing juice plus to be exhausted, is it? I had to really look in the mirror and decide that. That's not the way it is at all. And you'll go crazy. The second way is to do a Simon Mitchell thing and schedule items on certain days. Now, five weeks ago, I did that. The only thing that has survived are my absolute must calls. Like, I'm always on the hunter and gatherers call at 8 o'clock on a Monday night. We have our team call on Tuesday night. Um, Thursday night, there's an own your own life somewhere, et cetera, et cetera, and I try and get to other things as well. But the only thing that survived is my customer care because it's very important to me. Okay, so I'm not saying it doesn't work, but doing a schedule doesn't work for me. Did I realise when little grandchild went in for surgery that this would be six weeks of hell for mummy and daddy? No. And the reason I do Juice Plus is so I can be available. So that didn't work. The cramming everything in, like doing a bit of everything every day didn't work for me. Schedule, it can work, it definitely can work, particularly if I was disciplined. But at the moment, I haven't found myself disciplined enough. I get very excited when people are achieving and wanting to do things. And I tend to go back into that, 80, not 80% 80 management, the team and helping, but a lot more than I intend to. So I've got a lot of people to follow up at the moment and I'm not getting it done. But anyway, that's my problem and I'll, I'll work on it. So the cramming it all in didn't work and the schedule didn't entirely work for me. So here's what I'm suggesting for you. When you sit down and work out a daily method of operation, I right, see we've got young mummies, as I said before, we've got Hayley who works full time. We've got Andy and Emma work full time. So it's got to work for you. So I want you to prioritise, and you might want to write these down. It is your high-paying activities, but I want you to write it down like this. Prioritise calls to your prospect PCs. PCs is preferred customers for anyone better than you. Calls to your prospect PCs. Calls to your prospect VFs, franchisees. And these aren't in order. This is just absolute things that you've got to get in your DMO. Build for events. I'm going to share with you an old-fashioned way that I haven't done for a while, but I'm seriously thinking of. Did any, 
did anyone not listen to my live feed yesterday to understand all the events? Because I still haven't typed that document. So what I did in that live feed, I was telling you everything that's coming up because we're actually very blessed to have all those events, but I'm overwhelmed. I'm thinking, holy heck, what do, what do I do first? Where do I start? Luckily, I haven't got a boss telling me I've got to do everything. But because I'm my nature and many of you on the call are, you want to do everything, at least everything you can. So you prioritise calls to prospective PCs and VFs. You prioritise building for events. Use a calendar. So that's what I was getting to. Just say we've got Stevie Coulter coming on the 23rd. We've also got him coming on the 24th. I used to, and I'm going to go back to it, I print out a flyer for the 23rd. I print out a flyer for the 24th. I print out a flyer, if there was one, for that uh, morning tea down in Rockingham, 10 o'clock to, to 12 o'clock. Um, Tanya, could you do me a big favour, please? At the end of the call, I need you to remind me to tell you about Friday when Steve's here. Mustn't forget. In trouble if you don't, because I've just remembered it myself. Okay, so you have those flyers out. So if you're speaking to Sally Smith, one of your customers, and you say, oh, my God, she's into sport and personal training and stuff like that. Sally, I've got this. You've, you've actually seen it there on your desk. The flyers are everywhere. Sally, I've got this awesome colleague coming over from Sydney. He's so funny, but he's so intelligent and so informative. Really love you to come along. I'd love to know what you think of him. I'd love your opinion because everyone seems to love him. So I'm going to get him over here more often. Hear how I'm just chatty with that? Inviting someone to an event, or oh, come and hear about my product and business. No. What's in it? That's what's in it for you. What's in it for them? I really would love your opinion. This guy is so funny. We're going to have him over more often because everyone loves him and they always walk away with something from it. I'd love you to come. Come with me. We'll have a glass of wine first. So be lighthearted, guys. See where their pain is, see where their desire is. So then, um, so building for events, three-footing. Was anyone on that call that I did about three-footing? Does everyone, does it, raise your hand if you don't understand when I say what three-footing is. Okay, three-footing is the most important thing you can do when you run out of your warm market. Three-footing, in fact, I've got a conference presentation probably on PowerPoint that I did years ago. Three-footing is when you meet a stranger could be someone in a checkout queue or it could be someone at a barbecue and you bring either what you do for a living into the conversation or you bring Juice Plus our product into it. So when they come within three foot of you, a metre for you youngies, you need to do that three foot. So they're your priorities every day. Calls to your prospective PCs and BFs, calls to existing preferred customers, that's your customer care, Three foot, which is talking to a new person every day. Now, that can be face to face, which is the best way to do it, or social media. If you don't get out much, you're in a full time job and you don't get out to actually see people, you're really going to need to use social media more. Okay, now those things were all important, but I'm going to tell you some things the second priority, and the majority of us on the call, myself included, are probably making the first priority, which is why you run out of your very, very precious time to not do the first priority and it's also because these second priority ones are safe and it's in your so-called comfort zone okay what are they keeping up with boxer it's hard no one says you have to do it if you're committed to being doing well in this business for the first couple of years till you get to nmd you'll just make sure you do because you want to learn and you don't want to miss anything but you can listen to boxer all day and not get a single customer not get a single franchisee. Okay, Facebook Team Angels, that is very important because everything that you really need to know, I will always put on there. Email. And notice this next thing that's in your second priority, and I say this with the utmost respect for all of you, it's just that I want to lead from the front and I want to be the best franchisee in the team so you guys will follow me. The Italian twins last night said that Whatever I do, whatever effort I put in, my team will do because I'm inspiring them with my energy and activity. Do you all remember them saying that? 
So you are all leaders. You're all going to have people under you and you're already setting the pace for being a leader. So the more energy and effort and action you've got and you're doing, your people are going to follow you. Okay, I'm going to say something really quite profound now. I want you to trust me. If you recruit someone, I hate that word, if you invite someone to come into our team and they sign up to be a franchisee, an NMD in the making will be an NMD with or without you. So I was speaking to someone today and I said, have you really studied your virtual office? There's so much there to offer. No, not really. Have you gone on to our amazing new website? Does everyone on the call understand we've got a new website, which is outstanding? So make sure you do. www the juicy crew, juicy with no e, dot info. Outstanding. If you were in the middle of desert, Timbuktu, wherever, you could go on that website and learn the lot, literally, in the virtual office. But the other things that you can do too, there's a lot of other things. So there's some preparation for you prior, prior, prior to working out your preferred DMO. So if I said, do you know where to find the answer to a lot of questions your, your existing franchisees or your future franchisees will ask you? Explore the virtual office more. Explore the website more. Attend more events. Listen to more YouTube things. But please don't be that sponge person who thinks they have to know everything before they can be successful. Most of us who are successful had no idea some people in Australia are going at such a fast pace, they still have no idea. I often tell the story after last year when we, I think it was last year or the year before, last year we went to Memphis for the conference. There were a couple of really young, brand new NMDs over there. Jade, she wouldn't mind me saying. Jade and her mum were there and I was talking to her and I was explaining a few things about the marketing plan. She'd just become the youngest NMD in Australia ever. She had no idea how the marketing plan she knew how the bonus, the freedom plan worked, but not that. When I got her here with her mum, over a glass of champagne, of course, and coached her on it, everything fell into place. So I can almost guarantee you that if you're in a place now you feel a little bit stale, just accept it. Okay, I'm stale, let me do some homework. Let me feed myself and build myself up so I can go out there and feel a little bit more confident. I'm not saying you need to know anything. People don't care what you know, they care about how you make them feel. Does everyone agree with me? I know the Italian twins do. You just, all you're doing is making friends. It's not about us. Okay. Um, so we all need to be teachable, we need to be self-directed and proactive. And by equipping yourself with a lot of that information, you will be. And then if you come to me and you say, I've really listened to and watched so much on, on the website. I've done so much in the virtual office, but I'm still stuck. We'll then go through your beliefs and your why and your comfort zone and your inability to leave it, and then we'll go from there. I'm always here when you ask for help. Okay, where are we up to? Okay. So on a Friday, I want you all to think of this Friday, whether it's 2 o'clock or 5 o'clock in the afternoon, I want you all to think, okay, have I prioritised? So my DMO, to the best of my ability, this particular week in my life, did it work for me? And more than likely it'll be like for me this week, no, it didn't totally work. I didn't prioritise all those things. I ran out of time. But I know that next week, because I've got this right here now, I get it. It only took me 18 years or 17 and a half years, really. I've only realised the last six months. I have to, as I'm speaking to you people, I have to listen. And I wasn't. It's like, I'll tell you what to do, but I'm not going to do it. Now it's as goes the leader, so goes the team. So I'm out there doing it. And I did do a lot, but I still didn't do what I needed to do to get myself where I would have liked to have been. Okay. One thing I want you to all accept, though, it's a work in progress. I do not want any of you to beat yourself up. The only time you beat yourself up is when you actually can say to yourself, I've been a slack ass. And that happens. It's life. 
And then don't beat yourself up. Just make sure that next week you're not like that. You really are going to make an effort. Okay, the twins last night, they said the more you do, the more you want to do. So the more you talk to people, the more you want to talk to people. The more you do that grid, you realise how fantastic it is. The more you follow up, don't worry about the no's. That one yes that you might get in the whole week will make you like a kid. Yeah, just a really special kid. What's the expression? The dog that got the bone, basically. Just that one yes, that's all you're after in the follow-up. Don't worry about the no's. Okay, so he also said, one of the twins, I can't remember which one it was, he said, three contacts a day, not five or ten that we've been talking in the massive action groups, just three contacts a day, whether it's social media, face-to-face, -face, meeting someone at the bar at a barbecue, speaking to the man who serves me in the post office every day, every time. Today I actually said a little bit to him, I'll keep drip feeding him, and in about a week or two's time I'll give him an information pack. He hasn't even asked for it, but he's such a gentleman, he will take it. You never know what his circumstances are. You don't know when circumstances will change. Someone you spoke to three months ago may be made redundant tomorrow. It happens. Okay. What I loved last year, oh, so what they're saying is just three contacts a day, every day, for one year. And if you only want to do it three business days, five days a week, not the seven, it might take two years. But one of the twins was saying, you will be successful. So can you imagine if you did speak to three new people every day? And you're all probably thinking, oh, that's not possible. That's because you're saying it's not possible. What if you knew that if you didn't speak to three new people a day, you couldn't feed your child? Is everyone on the call? Most of us have got kids. If you haven't, you'll be having them. What if you couldn't feed your children if you didn't speak to three new people a day? You do it. Okay. What I loved about last night, they said, this business is actually just transformation. You're transforming people's health. You're transforming people's lifestyle choices by bringing some wealth into their life. It's not really transforming their wealth. I don't like that. It's transforming their choices that wealth brings. That's the big difference. So he was saying last night, share your stories over and over and over again. And you don't need to speak Italian to understand what he was saying. He goes back right to that top thing. Talk to people. The more people you talk to, the more success you will have and the more confidence you will get. Okay. For some of you sitting there, when you do your stories and things, particularly about the business, do sometimes you feel a bit not genuine, not integrity because you're faking it because you may be not doing that well yet? Does anyone feel that way? Okay. Change the tense of what you're saying. So instead of saying, oh, my God, it's amazing, I was thrilled with my check this month, you just say, I am so excited what this business is doing. I can gradually see it. I can see the big picture. I'm being mentored by amazing people. I love the fact that the company does most of the work. All I've got to do is share my story. And what I'm seeing is that I can really, really help a lot of people and I can make such a difference to our income. And it's just by sharing my story. And that's why I'm talking to you, Sally because I really want you to join my team. It doesn't matter whether you do a literal, little or a lot. So did you hear how I did that? So could you do that? Yes, you could. Did I mention my product? Did I actually mention I want you to join my business? I want you to join my team. I want you to be part of me, a fun of community. Okay. So you're not faking it, you're just gonna use the different tense. I'm so excited. For next June. This company is amazing. There's some great incentives and I'm going to be going to Circus Paradise. There's even a good chance that I could win 10 builder of the of the year in my um, actual team. And that's a really great prize. But just things like that. You know when we talk about the beliefs, belief in yourself, belief in the product, belief in the company, belief in the industry, belief in yourself. When I used to coach a lot, or stand up and do a lecture at a conference, I always say it's so important that we high note our, our product, 
we high note our colleagues. Oh, that Tanya Nichievsky, she's a lovely girl. Just say I was out somewhere and someone said to me, oh, I met this girl, Tanya, she was really pushy. Even if I thought Tanya was, which I don't, none of us are pushy. Always defend and high note your colleagues. I'm really sad that you felt that way. She's delightful. I'm sure it was only her passion coming through. So you high note the product. You high note your colleagues. You don't ever knock another product. You high note the company. This company is amazing. They virtually do all the work. You don't have to do parties or anything. If you choose to, you can, but you don't have to. So do you see how I'm sort of, they're all plugs and pluses. There's no desperation there. I'm just raving about how, how blessed I am. Okay, we're nearly finished. Okay, what they did say last night, this is not the first time this month I've heard this. Change your questions and it will change your life. Like Natalie Baldock always says to people, what would a perfect day look like for you? You know, and a lot of other people use, what would an extra $500 to $1,000 a month be like for you? And they say, oh, that would be amazing. It would be the car payment or whatever or whatever or private school fees. Wow. Well, if that excites you, what would $5,000 a month be? You know, if, you, if you're talking to someone and the dollars might be doing it, you don't always want to be that crass and it might not be someone that floats their boat. But change your questions, change your life. You have got to have... I'm going to share something quite funny with you. You all know how old and geriatric I am. You can imagine in my day, we didn't have... Well, even these days, you guys don't use CDs and DVDs. I still do. I posted one today to a new contact. I love soil to capsule. So in the old days, we had tapes. I think if I could really search, I'd probably still have a couple. And Danny Martin, our beloved Danny Martin, who's so wise, he used to say, we only need two tapes. The one that we hand out to people the one that we put over our mouth. Don't say too much. But what you want to do by putting that tape over your mouth, you want to listen. I want to hear what Michelle Owen's pain is. I want to hear what Emma and Andy's desires are. And you can't do that if you're talking. And I'm one of the worst people for babbling on, as you all know. But you have to learn to listen. But you're not just listening. You're really listening for that usually a pain or a hurt because that's where people need help. You have got it sitting right in your lap. Okay, nearly finished. All you're doing is making friends. And also that's a perfect place to use feel, felt, found. If someone says to you, oh, my God, I love being at home with my children, but I so need to go and get a part-time job. We've got these bills flooding in and it's not looking good at all. I know how you feel. I felt that way too. And gradually, bit by bit, I'm just starting to bring in extra income and still being a stay-at-home mum. Is that difficult to say? It wasn't. Hayley might say, oh, so, or someone might be saying to Hayley, I am so sick of working full-time. I am so over it. And Hayley might say, well, I really love work, but, you know, I'm a bit over it too, and that's why I'm doing Juice Bus. I'm just doing a little bit by little bit, and gradually I'm bringing some money in. Indirectly, though, my God, I'm helping so many people. I'm so excited. I'm meeting new friends. And she's getting there. So all you're doing is building, is um, making friends. I know how you feel. I felt that way too, but what I found. Okay. Very, very quickly, events coming up. Please, if you haven't, so I have not had time to type it up. You know about most of the events that I spoke about on, on the live feed. But the fact is, it's really hard to, yes, I remember Friday, thanks, Tanya. Um, it's very, very important that you know what is going on because when it's over, I, I can't tell you how many times I've sat in an event and thinking, oh, my God, I wish I had a guest here. This is amazing. Stevie Coulter has really got the buzz. If you, it, it's a bit like Natalie Boulder really is great for a lot of people to take along to one of her things and it really gets people in. Stevie can do that as well. Um, now. You know, on the 20, is it the 23rd and the 24th, the Wednesday and Thursday that Steve's here, on the Wednesday morning, 10 till 12 down in Rockingham, it's a meet and greet morning tea. Stevie will give just our team only, anyone who turns up, some inspiration. But Ronnie rang me this morning on the Friday morning at her home, I'm pretty sure it is, 
everyone is invited to um, come and have some time with Stevie. I'm pretty sure it's 10 till 12 on the Friday, but I'm sure she'll announce that. I'm just giving you the heads up. Okay, so what I want to close with tonight is I want you to understand that you can't wake up in the morning and think, well, you can. You can wake up in the morning, have your list, like mine's on my board in front of me, my high five. I actually don't do that. I see it. But what you need to do is decide that you're going to do those five high-paying activities. All the other stuff has to wait because that is the only way to be really successful. So in closing, I want to share this with you, and this is not my work, it's someone else's. Yeses will build your business, but all those no's that myself and you have gotten and will keep on getting, that's what builds us. That's where your personal growth comes. So you don't take it personally. So Jeff Roberti, you've all heard about number one money owner. One day you'll be lucky enough to meet him if he's in Australia or if he's some, if you were, we're all going to a US conference next year, I hope, maybe the October one. Um, but he will all, always say, um, the main reason why people, the most successful people, have had more no's than you. And he often warns people, he says, you'll have people saying, you're no good, your product's no good, your company's no good, it's a stupid industry. You cannot afford to buy their story. It's so, it's so okay for someone to say no and not buy your story. You cannot afford to buy theirs. It's like um, who was saying, Jen was saying about all the haters. Imagine if her belief, Jen's belief is way up here in all the areas, I believe. She's an NMD in the making. Can you imagine what that hater session on Facebook would have been like if Jen's beliefs were low? This is why you need to be on calls like this. You need to link arms with your buddies. So just before I go, I'm going to, if I can, no, I didn't mute you all, so you have to do it yourself. Are there any questions before we go tonight? Um, I had a question about the Wednesday morning with Stevie Coulter, if I could bring Harry, if I can't get him into daycare. Yeah, as long as you, look, I'm, I'm sure, as long as you realise that this is someone's investment apartment, yeah. and I know you, I've shared a room here with young Harry, he's <laughs> a little boy, yeah, as long as you're responsible for him and, and nothing happens, yeah, I'm sure that will be fine. Yeah. And the other thing is too, if you have a child or anything like that, just be courteous to other people. If the child really is upset, and I love children, mm -hmm. um, just make sure you sort of remove yourself and him or her from the room so other people aren't distracted, yeah. Any other questions? Now, was anyone considering coming to the Own Your Own Life, wherever it is, on Thursday night? We are trying to do them weekly. Just getting a few people to get their acts together and we'll get sorted. Was anyone, just raise your hand if you were thinking of coming. Okay, Michelle and myself, no one else? I wanted to come, but Alex is in Broome, so I'd have both boys and that's just not okay. fun for anyone. Right. Taking away other commitments, can anyone hand on heart say that they have tried to build, knowing that there probably was an own your own life at the Windsor or wherever, has anyone tried to build for this Thursday night, if they could themselves come? You don't have to put up your hands. This is your own stuff. So, five high-paying activities. Guilty as charged me. I still fall back into the old habit of trying to look after the team, trying to make it happen for them all, which is very important. That's something I think I didn't say before. When I talked about the second priority, I was going to shock you. Looking after your existing team is second priority. It's important. It's loving. It's necessary. But it doesn't come before those five high-paying activities because you're not supporting your team if you're not being the leader and the role model. Does everyone understand that? Beautiful. Well, I hope you enjoyed tonight. Any suggestions for team calls, team trainings, I'm very happy to do. It's quite hard to do things like report training, but I am like um, next week I'm going down to the South people and I'm taking one-on-one -on -one appointments and we're having a bit of a lunch. So for anyone else and elsewhere, if you want to do that, you want a one-on-one -on -one with me, all you have to do is ask. I can travel. 
doesn't really worry me. It's probably a lot easier for me to travel or meet you halfway than for you to come all the way to me. So good night. Thank you. I'm going to stop record. So great to have you on.